Hey everyone, I'm back to talk about the out of phase switch on my SG that I installed the other day. I dropped a new wiring harness in here from Gun Street Wiring Shop and I said a lot of things about the phase switch that were not true because I was wrong, because I didn't know what I was talking about and uh, a lot of you corrected that and gave me you know, a lesson in the comment section. So I thank you for that and I'm ready to show the way it really works and show off the range of this thing. Because now that I've got it figured out, thanks to you guys, it's a heck of a lot more exciting than when I didn't know what I was doing because I was just uh, running and gunning with a camera being you know, stupid and silly. So anyways, I've got my, uh, my Boss Katana mic'd up back there. I'm not in my normal recording room today because we've got a house guest and so there is a uh, luggage and an air mattress set up in my normal uh, recording studio area. Uh, so I'm in my home office uh, blasting this out today because I'm not gonna have a chance next week because I'm going to Germany. Go watch the video about that. So anyways, let's explore the real sound of this out of phase setting. Uh, basically the science behind this is, and we're about to get very scientific, when it's in an out of phase setting, it has to be in the middle position. When I thought that I was hearing it in the bridge position, my ears were playing tricks on me. They're so tricky, these tricky little guys. I wasn't hearing any difference. I was hearing the click of the switch engaging and disengaging and assuming that there was a difference and my mind and my ears fooled me. I feel like a dang fool. So anyways, in the middle position, the output from each pickup fights each other and they splash together and most of the frequency is uh, canceled out and whatever is left over is what you hear. So you hear a thin nasal kind of like thumpy quacky sort of sound. So let's check that out. Uh, a trick to achieve it is to figure out which of your pickups has the most output and then roll back the volume and you'll start to hear a little bit of scratching and right around there you'll find the uh, maximum out of phase setting. Uh, Someone who commented on the last video was telling me that. So thank you, whoever you were. I forget your username because usernames are forgettable for the most part. All right, here is the bridge setting, no out of phase. You'll have to forgive my sloppiness. I'm sitting in an odd position in an office chair. All right, here is the middle position not out of phase, in phase, I guess. I'll pull the switch. You can hear this more nasal and quacky now, uh, and I haven't even dialed back the volume knob, so let's do that. Let's listen for that scratching. There it is. I think that's it. That's the maximum amount of phase. Here it is with the switch depressed. And out of phase again. Let's have some fun and put some distortion on this thing. There we go. All right. Phase off. Phase on. I think it sounds great. It's a lot of fun. It's a neat extra option to have. Uh, I'm glad everyone commented and corrected me and told me how to use this the way it's supposed to be used. I'm looking forward to playing this guitar live and experimenting with these phase settings. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments uh, or other ways you can correct me on anything I've ever said, I'm totally open to it. I like learning things. Uh, I like to think that, that that's what this channel is all about is learning things and, you know, watching someone else <laughs> experience guitar in a normal everyday person sort of way. I don't claim to be an expert. 
Uh, I'm not a technician. I'm not a guitar tech. I'm not a guitar builder. I'm a podcaster who fell into having a YouTube channel. So uh, take it as it is. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments, and support us on Patreon if you really like this channel. And also stay tuned. Next week, there's going to be a ton of videos coming from Germany. I'm planning on just making like 10 videos a day or something stupid like that. I'm going to make more videos than everyone else at uh, Gearhead University. All right, later, guys.